Hi guys, how are you? I guess, I guess we had a miscommunication. You know what? I thought I was going live and I was bragging already about everything. And I guess not. So I'm going back to today's schedule. Well, we have our winners, right? We're going to pick one of you today to win our free class. So it will be $699 towards any class. It can be dispatch class. It can be safety class. It can be IFTA class. It can be private consultation. Whatever you guys want to use it, we're going to have it. Uh, hi, guys. Um, I have our submitters, right? So we have 14 people who wrote us email. They told us their stories. I have all the stories here. And we're going to choose one of you in the end of the life. Well, it took me a second to realize, guys, it's funny, right, that I was already talking. The one that knows that I've been talking, but I was not actually live. So that's why you guys were waiting for a few minutes. I got too excited actually talking about Devanda. Devanda, I'm going to repeat this. We had a live today. And, I mean, we had a practice today, and she did a great job. And she is really wants to start dispatch service. She comes from medical field. She had not much knowledge about trucking. And today we open the eyes, right? We know what does it has to be done. Multitasking, applying the skills. And believe it or not, she has a sassy attitude. She asked me, Alex, do not share this on the YouTube. Well, I have to share because guys, I am so proud of women be in this business. First of all, I want to make sure I say belated happy mothers to everyone because being a mom, it's harsh. And being the mom in trucking business, it's not easy because we have so much uh, things to do. We have to multitask. We have to make sure we're taking care of the company, of dispatching, of safety, and still raising our kids. But guys, you know what the most important thing? You guys are role models for your kids. Women in a business, women in trucking, you guys, my superstars. That's why Devonda, that's why Svetlana, Ola, I am telling you, you guys, my stars. And I am not just doing it just for a uh, love of teaching. I am doing it because I want to change this industry. So we, today we're going to get the winner. And we're going to have the winner actually every monday so everyone who still did not submit this time every monday we're gonna have one person winning because we guys gonna change trucking for better together if i can change the life of one person 52 weeks uh, a month right 52 lives i can do it and i can change this industry but i am always excited i always have energy and I want you to understand why. Because I am on a mission to do it easier, faster, and more proficient. So today, we're going to talk about what is the first step. You got your MC, you got your USDOT, or maybe you start working for someone. What is the first step? Is that to post the load? Is that to post, uh, find the load? Is that to negotiate it? Or maybe you need a little bit knowledge about paperwork. Of course, guys, we need to make sure paperwork is done correctly. So our subject today is I'm going to share my screen. And you guys going to see. Share the screen. Okay. That's what we're going to be doing today, right? So I'm going to be here on a little side. And you guys going to follow me along. Setup process. To make sure to get set up with the brokers, usually they will ask you to exchange paperwork, right? They will ask you to do these things. Sign the broker carrier agreement, which they're going to uh, send to you via link, or maybe they will send you the old-fashioned way PDFs. We probably still have 20% left of the PDFs. They're going to ask you to complete it, sign, complete the data sheet. They will need the proof of your 
Cargo and Liability Insurance, COI for new people, COI Certificate of Insurance, MC Motor Carrier. See, you guys can start learning terminology with me. Then they will need to make sure that you make them certificate holder. You will send them the proof of your authority, right? That letter which you guys getting from FMCSA, you guys so excited about finally being approved motor carrier. Motor carrier, common motor carrier, motor carrier for property except household goods. So if you are motor carrier for household goods, that means that you are moving company. Right here, guys, if you pay attention, you are let or or let or oh my god learning with me sorry guys had a long day safety classes over weekend two practices today booking loads in the morning so forgive me if sometimes i'm gonna be mumbling well then you need to make sure that your safety is satisfactory again all my students repetition well satisfactory none None. That means that you don't have enough inspections yet to go to the formula or it's unsatisfactory, guys. Nobody wants to work with you. You don't even need to go to the stuff. That means that your MC motor carrier is already not active. It's taken away, unfortunately, hopefully not, not with my classes, not with my lives. And uh, conditional. What's a conditional rating means? That means that probably your safety is suffering, maybe on maintenance level, maybe on your driver fitness, maybe on your logbook violations. So your safety department should know how to deal with this. All right. And if you guys are planning to survive in this business, you will understand that safety is number one priority. Of course, completed w9 because we all need to pay taxes for people who is outside of uh usa guys yes we do pay taxes in america we need to make sure we are following the rules and trucking industry is challenging so let's continue well don't you think that if that broker sends you that their setup packet it would be smart to create packet from you, packet that you can use every day, right, guys? You can use this every time you're going to get set up. So we're going to go through some pages which I advise you to create. Some of them you're going to have, and you're going to have it as a PDF attachment. Then you're going to have each page separately, and you're going to exchange information. So let's say you setting up with uh, Coyote Logistics. First, you can go on online and do buy the link. But let's take you working with a smaller brokerage. Let's say three logistics PL. They are calling you and they sending you their packet. You receive their broker carrier agreement. You receive their cover page. You receive their references. What should you do? Well, my students know that they need they need to do what they need to send something back you want somebody in the office start working on setting you up right so here's the first step you receive the broker agreement you send in your setup so that's what we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about creating that setup packet Here's the pages which you should have. Everything else can be optional. First, we're going to have cover page. It's like your face, right? It's a face of your company. What should you include there? Well, cover page, right? Well, my name, name of your company, physical address, mailing address, your MC, motor carrier MC, your US DOT number, right? Maybe your phone for sure, your email for dispatching, your email for company email. Here is advice. I would like you to separate that. I would like you to have two emails, one for dispatching, one for accounting and company issues, maybe claim department. Please separate that because if you're going to have three, four, five dispatcher, 
opening the dispatch email, sometimes you can lose important information. So it's done. We're going to see how it looks. You can be as creative as possible, or you can be as simple. Just a page in your Word. Just put all the information. If you're a little bit creative, you can put picture of the truck. You can put picture of maybe your family business, right? Or if you can put, you can put picture of me, sassy dispatch girl. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Don't put picture of me because I am not face of your company. Your truck, your name of your company, this is what is face of your company. Well, proof of authority. Where are you going to get this? The moment you guys going to be active motor carrier, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to have it letter which proves that on uh, May 10th, you became active motor carrier. Finally, federal of FMCSA, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, right? That's what it means. FMCSA granted you a permission to operate on the roads. Now your little truck can go on the highways. Now you can take freight from A to B, right? Okay, sounds good. Why do you need to include master certificate? Certificate of insurance. Well, because before federal government is giving you permission, they made some regulations. What is the federal government worries about? Well, uh, motor carrier government is worried about public. It's their job to protect public. So they said, well, if something's going to happen on the road, if public is going to be in danger, maybe your truck is going to hit some passenger car. Hopefully, we don't have fatalities, but guys, fatalities do happen. FMCSA said, well, we need to make sure you have a proper insurance, right? To get activated, the minimum for primary liability is 750000 right? If you motor carrier, common carrier, we're not talking about hazmat because it's more. We're not talking about uh, car haulers. It's, it's, it's more than that. We're talking about just the basic MC motor carrier for property except household goods. 750000 But guys, that would be easy, right? No one will be talking with you unless you have 1 million. So right here, guys, you want to start the business? You need to know per truck, you need a primary liability for 1 million. What else? Remember, you guys are going to be having product here, right? Commodity. So that water, look at this, this water bottle goes inside of my little truck. Well, this is not product anymore. This is commodity. This is cargo. And why federal government worries about cargo? Do you think they really worried about that water or that watermelons or that chicken? No, not really. They worried when you have accident and those oranges goes all over the highway, who is going to be in charge of cleaning that, right? They want to make sure that that cargo is going to be protected, right? Somebody's going to be cleaning that. So 75000 minimum for cargo coverage. Well, is anybody going to give you loads if you have 75000 No. You will need to have 1000 coverage for cargo. Here you go. You got that? You are almost carrier, right? But we are talking about already being active. Why do they want to prove? Well, because they want to see when is your policy starting. They want to see when is it ending. They want to see who is your agency, right? So if I am your agency, well, guys, they will be contacting me. They want to see who is filing that MCS 90, right? An insurance company files this with, with the federal government to prove that you do have coverage. Easy, easy peasy. My kids, uh, my kids, my students, sorry, I call you kids. I know most of you are my age, a little bit even older. But still, you know, I feel like you my my kids. So master certificate is there. W-9 is easy, right? Anybody who had a business, you need to fill out W-9 for your business. For new people, please make sure when you fill out the W-9, you guys use 
tax ID for company who you working for. Please, one more time. I know you guys are going to be responsible. I know sometimes you feel, well, I am a dispatcher. Well, yes, you are dispatcher, but you dispatching for motor carrier. They have tax ID number, right? They have employment identification number. That's what you guys are going to put. Who is going to sign that form? Well, as a dispatcher, can you guys sign it? No, not really, because you not uh, having, um, first of all, you cannot because it's not your company. You will sign rate confirmations later, but all these documents, even the broker carrier agreement will be signed by the owner of the company, by the CEO, by the manager who has been approved to sign paperwork. Guys, this is illegal paperwork. You don't want to be reliable if something goes wrong, right? Let's go back. Uh, you see our registration? Well, I would like to include it because you know why? This is mandatory. Don't you want broker to know that you guys following rules and regulations? And reference list. Well, most of the brokers will ask you to include at least three references, right? And some of them are going to tell you, please do not include big companies like TQL, CH Robinson, uh, Coyote. And why is that? Well, because, guys, uh, those big companies, they have so many people like TQL. I think they have 3,700 people working for them. They do not give actual references. It's not fair. But I never said that trucking is fair, right? TQL wants to give us three references. C.H. Robinson wants to give us three references. Coyote wants to give us at least three references. But when we ask them for references, oh, they are too big, too busy. Well, guys, you should um, you should actually support us, small carriers. But it's okay. Who will we put on that reference list? Let's think about it. Well, for my students, guys, you can put me as your, uh, of course, not a hashtag sassy dispatch girl, right? You would put my real name, Alexandra Sokolenko, and you will say that you went through training. Will I give you a good recommendations? Well, I should. As long as you're going to tell me, Alex, I did put you on my reference list. My company name is, let's say, Devanda Transportation, based from Mississippi. As long as I know who is this company associated with, I have no problem with giving you reference because I love you guys. And I know everyone who signs up for my classes are very goal-oriented people. You are hardworking people and you're very intelligent. So I know you went through my training. Will I recommend you? Yes, I will. Who else can you put there? Well, you guys go and you open business account, right? Your first business account for future trucking. Don't you think that your banker who opens your account will give you a good reference? Well, they should. If not, maybe you need to switch the bank, right? Who else? You buying the trucks. You leasing trucks. You buying trailers, equipment, right? Don't you think people who sell you trucks, equipment, don't you think they should give you good references? Don't they believe that you are a good business person who is still going to pay their bills? So here you go. It can be uh, people who sell equipment for you. Who else? Your insurance agent. So for people who have me as an agent, I guess you're going to put me twice. No, just put me once. We can find better references as well. I cannot be on the references for factoring, for dispatch, and for insurance. Although probably most of you have me representing you on all the levels because you trust me and you trust my knowledge. And by the way, I will take care of everybody who I'm giving services for, not just on the training level. I will make sure you guys get the best coverage. And I will tell you, no, you should not do this or you should do this. But... Let's keep going. Who else? Well, factoring, right? Insurance. And then the moment you guys going to start booking, the moment you guys going to start booking, um, you guys going to uh, you guys going to do what? You guys going to change it. So the moment you're going to start booking the load, you will add the real brokers on that reference list. 
So let's see. If you're a hazmat carrier, then you will need a hazmat permit. You will need, of course, uh, coverage for five million, and you can add your equipment equipment list. Again, if you go to Mexico, you're gonna have Mexico authority. Then you need to include that. You can add any certification, the TWIC certification, CARB certification, SMART certification, all those certifications my students know about, but you will need to add. If you're a woman who, belong, who is a, a woman-owned business or disadvantaged, any other certification, guys, you can add. But this page is, is the beginning, which will help you. So let's look. Cover page. And I just created the fake company for you. Does it look nice? Well, this is your face, right? So here, Safe Trucking Inc., right? Safe Trucking from Rowan Meadows, Illinois. AMC 999555. Guys, I pick up the easy, I pick up the easy number just as um, as an example. USDOT number 222555. I believe I put extra number. Uh, tax ID number. I think it's an extra number there as well, just because it was an example. Phone number, fax number and email again dispatch today well this is my real <laughs> real email i do have it for dispatch right alarm dispatch today this is for my training alex at rts uh at gmail uh, at rts.com wow this is my factory and i have my uh email for my insurance needs i have i separate my business so again guys you can create a separate business, a separate email for this patch and at least accounting or company email. Please do so. Well, this is a cover page. Easy. I like to put some pictures. Sometimes, guys, just Google the free images. But if you have a good picture from your real truck, make sure you put it here. So cover page. How easy it is? Well, I think it's easy, right? Ryan is watching my um, video right now. Ola is watching. Uh, Mahmoud is watching. Guys, how easy it is. Volodymyr is watching. He must previous student. Well, it's easy to do. You can do it on a Word document. You can do it on Adobe. Whatever you decide. First page is done. Proof of your authority. Again, this is the letter you guys going to get from Federal Motor Carrier uh, Administration after you follow all the rules. BOC3 filing and insurance on file. Two mandatory insurance, liability and cargo. Uh, well, I see the question right now from Mahmoud. Truck insurance, trailer insurance, cargo liability, as these three insurances are required. How many types of insurance coverage are required? One more time, I would like to repeat. To activate MC. You only need liability, 750000 minimum, and you need a cargo. Everything else is optional. But if you decide to work with Amazon, what do you need to add? First of all, Amazon requirements are different. They want you to have general liability, right? One million to aggregate it. They want you to have a trailer inter-exchange. Why? Because you are using their trailers. So this is something Amazon required, right? You may be living in a state which requires workers' compensation, right? Then, yes, it's mandatory. It's going to be required by your state. I am in Illinois. We're not required to have worker compensation, so it's optional. For people who live in New York, no, it's not an option. So you need to check with your state. What other coverage can we have? Well, we can have medical, we can have occupational, right? We can have um, uh, non-passenger, we can have extra, extra, physical. What about physical? Is it mandatory by FMCSA? No. But do you want to survive in trucking, Mahmoud? Are you going to cover your truck and trailer? Because let's see this example. Let's pretend that my phone is another truck, right? Sorry, guys, I don't have another truck here right now. So you hit in a truck in front of you. Who is going to cover that? Primary liability. Cargo goes all over the highway. Who is going to cover that? Cargo. Well, primary liability is going to take care of the truck you hit. But who is going to take care of your truck? If you do not have physical for truck, 
let's say you had Amazon trailer. Well, that trailer inter exchange is going to take care of that trailer, right? But you need to have coverage for your baby truck, right? And this is a question I ask. And you know what? I'm always surprised by the new generation's owner. So they go buy a new truck. And you know, guys, new truck right now, 160,000, 165. Most of them, they don't finance because they've been working hard, driving like team drivers nonstop, right? Faking those logbooks. They go, they buy truck. Good. And then they contact me as an agent and they say, well, I don't want to pay that physical because it's too expensive. So guys, if you truck to buy the same truck, cost you 150,000, 170, please, please make sure you have the policy for the same amount because you cannot be hoping for miracles in trucking. Miracles in trucking do not happen, right? And if you guys follow me, you will understand why. So that's why you have to do this business correctly. And that's why I am on the mission to change this. But let's keep going through our setup. Master certificate. Again, certificate of insurance. Where are you going to get it? From your company who insures you. It's going to say the name of your company, who is the agent, which policies, who is the producer, when is it starting, when is it ending, and of course, the limits. If you have extra coverage, let's say reefer, right? I'm a reefer company, so I will have extra reefer breakdown, right? Because if something's going to happen to my product, those produce, those watermelons, who is going to cover that? Well, I need to have reefer breakdown. So that's why when Mahmoud's asking me what is mandatory, only to insurance it, but what other coverages do we need to have? Well, way more than that. I have a question. After taking your class, what are the chances of finding a job? Well, this is a good question. Well, if you guys really going to be... Uh, taking my advices if you guys gonna go through all things i share with you pdfs homework quizzes if you're gonna invest in practicing load boards uh practicing the questions understanding the market guys my uh, uh, rates are pretty high for people usually it's 80 percent of my students are finding the job because and probably ryan can tell right now in a comment when he went after my class, actually, he one of the people who found the job even before finishing the class. When he came to one of my classes, he said, Alex, actually, I know more than some of the dispatchers. Guys, I actually spend in time to teach you and share how it's done. So after my class, it's the same when you go somewhere for two, three months working. And I hope that um, Ryan can give me thumbs up. Yes, let's give Alex thumbs up. Thank you, Ryan. But I want you to tell, do you think that it's true that you knew some things which even dispatchers after two, three years, they did not pay attention? And why is that, guys? Well, because nobody was teaching them and people kind of stop. You need to think outside of the box. Technology changing, right? Uh, load boards are changing. Who is only working with the dead right now? Dead or truck stop? Well, only desperate dispatchers. Guys, we have load boards. We have brokers load boards. How many times I book the load by just clicking? That's why it's possible. How hard it is to do setups via link. How important it is to make that setup packet, right? So, Yes, it is possible. And uh, uh, not even that people finding the jobs, but 75% of people who came through my classes, guys, they become a carrier. They open their family business. And I think we're going to be adding those success stories that you guys actually see the progress. You know, some people came to my classes six months ago. They already running the company. Some people came a year ago. They already becoming mega carriers. Some people just starting. So not just uh, 
I want to brag about it, but yes, I am that sassy dispatcher who is going to make sure you guys succeed. And we need to learn things. That's why we go back to the subject. Master certificates done. W9 is fill out. Again, tax ID, signature of the owner. And what is NOA? Notice of assignment. Actually, this is an old uh, version. Fully, fully got bought out by... Um, by lofts right now so fully companies they build a very successful factory and they sold out to lofts why because lofts wants to take uh, most of the business right lofts have a lot of um, uh, gas stations they have factoring so they go against rts that's a big big competition there but what is the notice of assignment again notice of assignment noa so, so far, guys, just by watching live, you already know. AMC, Motor Carrier, US DOT, United States Department of Transportation, FMCSA, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, right? You know what is CUI, Certificate of Insurance, W9, something you fill out for IRS. And now you know NOA, Notice of Assignment. Not the Notice of Awesomeness. I would like to have awesomeness, you know, assigned to me, but... Not really. Yes, Ryan, you're right. This is agreement between carrier and factoring. Does it have to do anything with brokers? Not really. Because in trucking, unfortunately, we need money right away. Boom, 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 boom. We have to pay fuel on time. We have to pay our drivers so they drive for us. We need to pay insurance on time. Otherwise, it's going to be canceled. And the moment it's canceled, OMC is deactivated. Do you really think it's so easy to reinstate MC? Not that easy. We need to make sure we buy a new equipment. We need to make sure we pay in dispatchers on time, right? Because if I don't get paid, well, I don't think I'm going to be keep dispatching somebody, right? We're a dispatcher, guys. We're not the charity workers. We are the one who make you money. So make sure you take care of dispatchers right away. People also ask me, how to charge, how to invoice people. We're going to talk about it next Monday. But notice of assignment is showing everybody that you have factoring. And that means that every time you deliver the load and your invoice is going to be sent to TQL, to Sitch Robinson, to Coyote, to Imgon Logistics, to Conway, the money is not going directly to you. Money goes to your factoring. Of course, they're going to charge 2%, 3%, 4%, 1%. It depends on your volume. It depends how long you've been in business, right? But in exchange of that charge, what's going to happen? Well, you guys going to have money right away on your account within 24 hours to 48 hours. So I'm going to continue. One second break because I need to drink my water and I will be right back. And I am back. So notice of assignment is done. Let's scroll down, right? And the last page is references. Again, make sure that those people are still working, right? So I am showing you the older version. I need to update because this was for the purpose of the class. So um, references are done. You're going to change them. So if you want to add your reefer carriers, you have to be part of um, food and safety protocol, you can add. If you want to get a UCR, all of this is kind of self-explanatory. So my students already go through this. They know how to get certificate holder, everything else. Well, we're not really in a class. We have life to help you out. So you guys created your setup. This is going to be your company setup. Again, you guys going to have it as what? As a PDF, you send it right away to the broker. The moment they send you stuff, or you will be attaching. 
if you guys are gonna do setup via link there is gonna be upload please upload your setup please upload your noa please upload your coi please upload your references right so again you're gonna have it as a packet together with all the six seven pages and you're gonna have each page separately on your desktop on your phone in your dropbox well how hard is this to create setup packet i wish i could hear you guys i can just see comments so if you guys can at least comment that would be easier for me so i can answer the questions but hopefully this is simple again we're gonna post this live on our channel and you guys can rewatch it the first step is done you created setup packet if something changes what are you gonna change once a year certificate of insurance right because you're gonna have a new policy maybe you change your insurance agent right you didn't like to work with someone you come to me now i'm your agent maybe we added extra policy you were driving carrier now you added reefers so you need to make sure you need to make sure that that coverage is there maybe you decide to do amazon right so you add in general liability inter exchange or maybe you are downsizing maybe you don't want to do reverse no more so you something changes you need to update it okay reference update how important is that it's very important because people change jobs people maybe go open their own company or maybe you need to remind them alex you still on my list and this is my company and now i have five trucks i have 10 trucks please can you make sure when they call you you give me updates so that's important well um and uh let me see right now the ryan saying we do setups like twice a week it doesn't go away guys exactly because new people come into the business right uh new brokers come to the business so setup process is still gonna be there if we update something we change in our setup let's say tql decided to add two pages you work with tql already for three years while well, they're gonna check umc and they're gonna say yes you are set up but you know what we updated our setup broker agreement please resign send it back is it hard not hard maybe they partner up maybe some company got sold out let's say they go together night logistics Swift, you know people uh, go to xp or just buying somebody else right so maybe you need to update this is a part of the dispatching job being able to create setup and being able to exchange paperwork next monday we're gonna be actually filling out one of the packets and guys in my comments i want to see what do you want to see do you want to see big company like tql or do you want to see just a small package with two three pages so i hope you guys leave the comments right now so i can prepare but what else are we going to learn today well we're going to learn that trucking is um trucking is the industry which safety is first so make sure you guys understand that and you sign up for our classes well 44 minutes went by really fast and we're gonna go to this part guys Ooh, i want to see thumbs up i really want to see some comments guys are you guys ready for this so i'm gonna have a break for 30 seconds and we're gonna pick the winner okay so let's see come we're gonna count till 30 because the winner is gonna receive free class 699 dollars if you decide not to take it you can award somebody else so count count down 30 seconds well here you go guys the moment of the truth but you know what before we do all this 
I would like to say a big, big thank you from my heart to my assistant, guys. She is out of the country. She's in Brussels and she's always behind all my work, guys. I'm not a superwoman. I do have help. So I want you to actually understand that all those emails, homeworks, guys, I cannot really do it myself so you cannot see her i will make sure i'll bring her live next time because i don't want to surprise her yes she's hiding now nobody wants to be on youtube but let's go guys so everybody's here right and we're gonna read the story so i'm doing this so you want me to close the eyes i don't know so one two three, i can see so everybody's here guys i am i am not even looking so whatever i'm getting my hand out one person Ooh, look at this i hope let's see who is watching who is watching so the winner is carolina gomez wow guys actually i was hoping and i want you to hear this but i have one more surprise for you let's hear we have this letter from Carolina and I might I might be cry a little bit you know I I am uh, I am like the very sensitive when it goes to things so dear Alex thank you for your this opportunity I am contacting you in regards to the free dispatch curse at Lauren dispatch today and I am very interested in this curse my name is Carolina Gomez I am a professional truck driver since 2017. For the situation that we lived last year, COVID-19, I stopped to drive OTR and work locally in a different jobs. A few months ago, I started to look in, uh, about uh, dispatch courses in the social media, Facebook and internet and YouTube uh, channel. And YouTube, when I saw you and saw the way you teach, I knew that it will make sense for me to learn how to dispatch. In the moment that I saw and listened to you, I realized that you will be the right person to teach me everything that I need to become a truck dispatcher. A little about my life. I'm a single mom that works really hard and I have three children that I love with all my life. In the past year, I was uh, working so hard uh, to have a good economic situation, but you know, I took a bad decisions. I was in a relationship that resulted in disaster and loss of my truck and my job, but I have the longing and strength to start again. Your willingness to take time out of your busy day and read this letter, I appreciate. Again, I appreciate your time and consideration for this exciting opportunity. Sincerely, Carolina Gomez. Well, guys, what could be a better I think universe knows what we need to pick, right? Mother's Day was yesterday. Well, um, I'm a mom too. When I started trucking, I was also single mom with two kids. And I understand the struggle. I know how hard it is. So Carolina, yes, I see you watching. We will contact you. And yes, you are the winner. You can choose any class. But guys, I receive all these touching stories, right? And, you know, tomorrow is my birthday. You guys can wish me happy birthday. So I decided to spread the kindness and I want to choose one more winner. And hopefully you guys are going to understand why. Well, I'm not going to say the name yet, but I'm going to read the story, guys. Hello, Alex. I believe I should be allowed to attend the truck dispatcher training for free for many reasons. My husband is a truck driver and our opportunity to start our trucking business came to a stop when I lost our child. Due to this, um, sorry guys, dramatic life changes experience, my husband decided to stop going over the road and he took a pay cut and remained local and to be by my side. After a year, we decided it would make sense for us to buy a truck and start our own trucking company, but the pandemic stopped our plans. You know, pandemic changed a lot of lives. Then my husband's hours were cut and we had to use some of the money 
we were saving to pay our expenses. We believe 2021 is our year. And I do not know how much, I don't know much about this patch. And by watching your YouTube videos had opened my eyes to many things that I was not aware of. I am a fast learner. I am organized. I prioritize things in my life by importance. My husband being a truck driver and me being a truck dispatch and speaking into existence will enhance our knowledge and growth in the trucking industry. I am ready to study, practice, and use all your learning strategies to succeed. I am a realist, and I know this will not be an overnight process. I am willing to work hard and have patience. I believe everything happens for a reason. Give me a chance to prove that you made the best decision by selecting me for the free Track this and training center. Thank you, Marlene Varys. Wow, guys, yes, Marlene, 2021 will be your year, and 2021 will make you to believe that the universe is there for you and positivity will come your way. And as a mother, I cannot even explain. Do you see? It's even hard for me to read your letter because no no woman can bear of loss of the child but i believe that you will you will be mother again and you will build the truck and with your husband and i am here to help guys sorry that i got a little bit emotional but we will contact you i don't know if you guys are here or not we will contact you but again this was marlene very so we have we have two winners today, and I do believe in positivity. I do believe in universe. I do believe that all together, guys, we can change this industry. So once again, it's me, Alex, your sassy dispatch girl, and I would like to thank you for all the support, for you subscribing to our channel so we can help single moms, that we can help somebody who went through the tough times, guys. If I can help, you can help. And together, we can just be more positive. We can be successful. And I am thankful for all you do for me to all my students. I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Again, we will contact the winners. The names again, Marlene Varis and Carolina Gomez. You guys can choose any classes. We have classes coming. Uh, let me see one more time. We have some coming in June and July. So let's see what is the schedule. And again, guys, we almost done. It's been a fast 50 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, I I hope I hope you learned something new for my students. I'll see you in the classes on Thursday class. I'll see my finishing class on Saturday. We are practicing this week, so everybody are busy. And hopefully, step by step, you guys gonna help me to change this industry one more time subscribe to our channels because it is important and make sure you sign up follow us share and remember we're gonna do this every monday so start submitting your stories start sharing the information guys you can take any of the classes and i will be there helping you once again it was pleasure i wish i could guys hear you i wish i could see all of you and we will be start bringing guests and next class again on monday and we gonna be we gonna be doing what we gonna be filling out that setup again make sure you leave comments under my life on youtube or facebook so i know exactly 
which which broker you want me to show you take you out see travis on england logistics just name it so guys love you again i'll see you i work nine to six how about as soon as i get off i jump to your stream thanks alex and happy birthday thank you guys so much well again we are in logistics 6 p.m central time it's already 7 p.m maybe we will change maybe we will adjust our timing and start maybe 6 30 guys how 6 30 6 30 gonna be better again make the comments if 6 30 central time is gonna be better for life because yes you guys still work in driving i can adjust that i can do anything you request of course if you are gonna be supporting us sign up follow us share and please make sure you nominate people okay even you if you know somebody is not sure tell them because once a week we're gonna have the winner and again you know me i am a kind person if I see touching story, if I know I can change somebody's life, I will go that extra mile. So it's always a pleasure for me to help people. Love you again, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. And thank you for all the uh, all the uh, birthday wishes for tomorrow and uh, wishes for happy how to participate. Again, Kirill, we're going to put... Uh, our requirements under the video you need to subscribe to our channel you need to follow facebook you need to subscribe to our site learn this patch today and of course you need to do what you need to send us why why should you be the one because i don't want you just to subscribe if you're not on a mission if you guys not on a mission well then maybe you should learn from somebody else. We are on a mission here. Will our names stay there? Well, uh, <laughs> well, Tamara's asking, well, your names. Yes, you know what? Actually, Tamara, you're right. We're going to be keeping the names. So today, Car Carolina, we're going to take her out. And Marlene, yes, Tamara. Will your name stay? Yes, they will stay for giveaway. So you still have a chance as long as you watch my lives. As long as you share, as long as you participate, you can be a winner. Maybe not today. So probably, guys, by the end of the year, this ball is going to be actually full, right? And you know what? It's a funny story. I had, um, I had a dear friend of mine who gave me this ball for Christmas, and he said that it's a wish ball. So you can throw your wishes here, and they're going to come true. Uh, he actually moved back to Europe. He wasn't rocking. And hopefully, I'm going to see his name again because, guys, you cannot give up on your dreams. Trucking is hard, but it is possible. So, yes, Tamara, we will be keeping your names here. So, actually, it's going to be now sitting here on my desk, and I will be just adding. And all the stories are going to be printed out and adding to my folder. So, don't ever give up and believe in universe and positivity okay thank you Volodymyr. i am the best teacher ever well without best students i cannot do it so yes you guys are the best i am just here to deliver i'm just here to share my knowledge but you are the best you the one who takes that chance who sign up who study hard and who goes and achieves their goals one more time love you too the wanda and thank you again, 4 a.m. for me, no problem. Well, Timur, now every Monday, 4 a.m. for you should not be a problem until you win, right, Timur? Do you want to win? Yes, you do want to win, right? So <laughs> then 4 a.m. it is. Plus, if you ever going to become a dispatcher, well, you will be working till 4, 3 a.m. because market closes at 5. And sometimes you're going to have cancellations, right? So you need to have backup plans. So, Timur, you want to dispatch for USA? Start getting ch changing your schedule. I'll see you soon. And maybe you're going to be the next one. Love you guys again. Please share. Please invite people for the next live. And goodbye. I'll see you, my practice uh, students, tomorrow, 9.30 sharp. And thanks again. I love you guys. I'm ending now. And again, thanks to my assistant. She's the best. She's putting up with a lot of things. Thank you. Bye, guys.